In this video, we're going to change the cam belt on the Toyota Carina 98 model, and to do that, you have to remove the washer bottle, rocker cover, engine mount, and their water pump pulley and belts, bottom crank pulley, and the uh, timing covers, plus the the uh, time belt gate. Now that's all removed, we're going to take the belt off, slacken the tensioner, push it back, tighten it up. Before you do that, line her up in the timing. So the next step is to uh, line up the timing marks before taking the belt off. And that's the next step. Now we've located the uh, timing marks on the bottom crank pulley. And just crank the engine there. You line her up, mark it with paint so you can see it. Mark it there. And let's read the hole here. Little nick there on the uh, the uh, camshaft uh, cup. So you line up these two, and these you line up on the bottom nick and the pulley. And mark the paint there. So you line these two up. So line it up. That's the uh, piston top dead centre. So just to remove the spark plug here. Just put all the airline hose, slack in the plug. Yeah, and then you pull out your plug. Just a wee simple idea. This is me. Top the edge center pipe. So this is to show you where top the edge center is. And you go back, she goes down, so you go up the whole way and down. The highest point is top the edge center. And the bottom mark will line up to that. So it's just to show you where top the edge center is. So you can remove your rod and just insert the plug again. So the next step now would be uh, just slacking the, uh, the 10 millimeter uh, nut, but push back the tensioner, and then tighten again to hold it back. Remove the belt and refit the new belt. So Check the marks again. Top dead center. And the hole should line up with the neck. So push something through there, let's see. Now just nail here. Shoot it. If you push it through the hole, it should line up with that neck on the cap. So this top dead center is the valves opened the front and uh, closed the back. Right. I'm sorry just close the front and open the back. Yeah. This is a uh, firing stroke and uh, exhaust stroke. Right. Right, so the next step now would be to change the belt. Now the tensioner wheel is back and locked in place, so just slip the belt off. Not easy one hand right now. So it's the old belt off. And we're going to use a gates belt again, power grip, and then we'll change the plugs. And the oil filter and the oil when we're finished, so and just double check the belt and check the belt is the correct one before you put it on. Make sure you put it on the right way. So instead of this way here, the name would be pointing away, show we the correct way would be this way. 
need the if there's an arrow on the belt, the arrow should be pointing clockwise. So when you can read the the manufacturer's name this way, this should be the correct way. Now slip it over the mountain. On to the bottom pulley first. Put your belt on the bottom first and around the back of the tensioner pulley on here. Just keep her just gripped on so then she's right here just pushing on on. Put her on top pulley last. That's the way you do it. Check your marks again. And the bottom one. Make sure she hasn't moved. A 10 mil spinner. Slacking your tensioner wheel. Tighten your tensioner wheel. Too selected, not to get a wee bar in behind. Give her more, a little bit more tension. Just camera in my hand again. You have installed the belt, tension the belt properly. Should be just a half a twist, not too tight, not too slack. Then we'll crank it over one turn by hand. One wheel, one wheel off the ground. And the other wheel on the ground, so we'll crank around by hand. Never turn the key. If you turn it wrong, hit a valve, we're in big trouble. Just have to crank it over, the whole way over. And put her back up to time marks again. Just turn the wheel here, you see? And it turns the slick tough gear. And the mark should line up. There. There and there. And the bottom one should line up. And we'll just double check that. There's the marks there lined up. So we'll crank it one more time. Twice on the bottom pulley, once on the top pulley. Once, run again. Here we go. There she is. Lined up there. She double check her again. And that hole lines up to this nick on the cap. And that's the timing setup. So next step now is to put on our guide. Don't forget to put this on. And a little slot. Now you're ready for now for the timing cover. I'm just gearing now in reverse. And we're finishing, we'll change the oil and the filter and each of the plugs. That'll be your timing service, time belt service complete. And always check the uh, water pump when you're stopped. If there's any wear in the bearing, change the pump. So, next step now is to reassemble. And that completes the time belt operation on the uh, Carina, Toyota Carina. Uh, 1.6 pedal engine. Now we've reinstalled the uh, bottom pulley, timing cover, and uh, this pulley here will be tight coming on. You'll have to jack her up 
and tweak the engine back a bit with the bar down there gently and you can wiggle this pulley back into this dish again that's the uh, power steering water pump pulley so the next step is this done you reinstall your uh, Faultmeter belt, just like no faultmeter to get on here. So that's our next step. And then we'll reinstall the engine mounting and just do everything in reverse. So just the engine mounting and the rubber cover and the water and the water uh, bottle. bottle. Right. Give that a crack on. Right, okay. Now we have the engine mounting on and the belts on and check every bolt nut, check it and double check it and the uh, stud here tightened and the two underneath and uh, just go around all your nuts and bolts now and double check, everything's tight. Next step will be clean down the top of the, the block here, the cylinder head and uh, give it a clean down and clean down the gasket on the rocker box and next step now would be to put a runner sealant right around then and reinstall the uh, timing cover or valve cover okay now if I'm a, a bit of sealant right around it's under the head make sure it's clean and next step would be to install the cover Now if we re refitted our rocker box and reinstalled our spark plug wires, the two pipes, and now if we have refitted our plug in the water bottle, our pipe, so let's just go next. Put a little hole at the bottom here. That's not so handy one hand. And just lay your wires over again. Just open it. And uh, covers to go on. So we'll attach the the bottle next. Now the wires are in, pipes, water bottle, and the radiator bottle. And we've checked and double checked all nuts and bolts. Should bring the fire up. Okay, that's a pretty good job. 